purpose is very simple. My purpose is to teach one billion people how to be brilliant. Dr. Gardner, he and his team of researchers did an interesting study over a 20 plus year period and what they discovered is that children up until the age of four are operating at the genius level. So the question that you have, like I had, oh brilliant one, you do know that you're sitting next to a brilliant one, right? Just look at your neighbor and say, good morning, oh brilliant one, come on. Somebody said, I'm glad you finally recognize. You may be slow, but you're worth waiting on. <laughs> So the question you have, like I had, is where did this genius of brilliance go? It didn't go anywhere, but it became buried by a society that says color within the line, sit down, give it back, you can't do this. And the more a person continues to hear what they can't do, where they can't go, and who they can't become, there is a neurological path that is created in the brain that causes individuals to shut down. So what happens is they have this potential and they want to be a magnet, but they show up in an environment where they are tolerated, not just celebrated. So the question becomes, what am I going to do? As I think about the five components, the five things, what can I do every single day to be brilliant? I believe it starts with this first big idea, and that is how do we begin to see differently? The reality is no matter what the strategy is, culture eats strategy for lunch. So every single day, I believe what you do on the magnet journey is how do we strengthen the culture of excellence? Not just to do what we do because we have to do it, because how many realize getting approved by magnet is not easy, right? If it was easy, everybody would be doing it. It's not easy, but, but you create this culture. The other interesting thing that's keeping them awake at night, CEOs, is this whole thing of leadership bandwidth. How do we ensure we have men and women who lead us into the future, not just where we are right now? And then how do we think about our workforce capability? Gone are the days of going to convention boondoggles. It's about how do we bring the learning back, embed it in the organization so that everyone grows, and then certainly performance management. So there's this whole conversation around accountability now more than ever before. So I salute you on the magnet journey that you're not settling for the status quo. You're not doing it the way it's always been done because you are healthcare transformers and you do it every day in every way. I had an opportunity to interview one of your peers that's sitting in the room this morning. She said, Simon, magnet is not just something you do, it's something you become. And I said, tell me more. And she said, when you become a part of Magnet, you understand that a, a, a paycheck is given to people who show up, but opportunities to excel are given to people who work beyond what they're paid to do. If my memory serves me correctly, Barbara Richardson from Vermont just said a few moments ago, identify the gaps and imagine the possibilities. All of you have the ability to say no longer will we settle for deja vu. Deja vu is been there, done that. But as transformational healthcare professionals who understand that you have everything you need to succeed in you, if we are gonna transform healthcare, how do we begin to Bouja day. <laughs> Deja vu is been there, done that. But Vuja day is going there, doing that. I was interviewing Rick Goings, who is the chairman and CEO of Tupperware. Tupperware is based here in Florida. And I said, Rick, what are you telling your leaders all over the world? And he said, Simon, I'm telling them that in order for us to stay relevant in every economy, we have to have intellectual curiosity. I said, what's intellectual curiosity? He said, it's the ability to see what's not yet. <laughs> 